Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the category links in your blog post so that they look like actual buttons. The codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how to customize them. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site and you'll see above my title, I have three categories. When I hover over them with my cursor, it's obvious that they're clickable because the cursor changes, but they just don't look clickable. So that's what we're gonna change with code. I'm gonna navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we're gonna paste the code. Now those categories go by the code name or selector of blog meta item categories. Now let's give it a background color. I'm gonna say background yellow and check it out. We now have a yellow background, but it goes across the entire container for those categories. I just want it to be behind the individual links. So to do that in front of that first curly bracket, I'm gonna let add the letter A. This says active link. So now my browser is only going to give that background color to any active link that's in the blog meta item categories container. So it looks like this. Pretty cool, right? Now there's a lot more we can do here. You can add any typography or text setting or color style that you'd like. Let's go ahead and give it a border. I'm gonna say border one PX solid, just a solid black. So now it has an outline. And you know what? I wanna give it a little bit of padding too. That border is scooted right up next to the edge of the characters there and I don't like that look. So I'm gonna add a semicolon and say padding 0 uh, 0.5 REM. So zero means at the top and the bottom, it won't have any extra padding, but that 0.5 gives it extra padding on the left and the right. Change up those numbers to any values that you want to customize that padding so it looks good on your own site. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a bit of a border radius as well, so it's kind of curved in. I'm gonna go ahead and say border radius one REM, and now they're kind of curved in on the edges there, so it looks a lot more like a button. Now, last but not least, we've gotta add my favorite thing to do to buttons here, a cool hover effect. Currently, the only thing that happens when I hover over it is my cursor changes, and that's just not enough. So let's add a new line of code. I'm gonna say blog meta item categories A hover. And now we can change the color of the font and let's change the background as well. And I'll make sure that this is important, spelled correctly, there we go, just to make sure the browser will prioritize my code over any other code it might see, and let's check it out. When we hover over it, they've now changed. Now, if you don't like that instant change, let's give it a little bit of a transition here. We'll add a, let's say 0.5 seconds, 0.5 S. So it doesn't go quite instantly. It takes a little bit of time to fade in there. Totally optional, change up that duration if you want to, completely up to you. So that's how we've added a unique hover effect to that as well. And again, add any type of typography changes, font styles, background colors, heck, make it a linear gradient instead of just a solid color background. Get really creative here. Just make sure you title this blog meta item categories A. That A denotes the active link so they can be styled individually to look like clickable buttons. When you're all done, select save and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Again, those codes are listed below. And if you're using an older version of Squarespace, keep an eye out for the code name that you're gonna wanna use for a Brine or a Bedford template listed below. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.